preaching from uh, the fourth chapter of Romans, <clears throat> particularly working towards the sixth verse. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> this matter, we're still continuing this mm -hmm. glorious truth of the, the circumcision of Christ mm -hmm. and its effectualness before God mm -hmm. and the, the benefits that come to the people by faith. Mm -hmm. To those who believe this this work that God has done, uh -huh. this this was this was something that God had determined to occur. Mm -hmm. These things just didn't happen. These things had been purposed by God. This is the, these 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 workings out, if you will, are because God had determined this to be. God had Amen. purposed this to be. Mm -hmm. Amen. God had desired this to be. Yeah. God, God desired this to happen. Uh -huh. Talking about. The blessedness of the man. Mm -hmm. The blessedness of the man to, unto whom God imputeth righteousness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. a, this is a blessedness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now there are blessings associated with this. But I want to talk about the blessedness mm -hmm. of the mm -hmm. man. Yeah. Not things that just come unto you, but because of who you are. Uh -huh. The blessedness of the man to, unto whom God imputeth righteousness. The one in whom... Their, your, your iniquities are forgiven mm -hmm. and your sins are covered. Well, there's a blessedness. That's, right. this, is, yeah. this in itself is a blessedness. Yeah, that's right. But yeah. there's other things that, that occur because of what Jesus did. Yeah. That's what we're talking about. I want to I wanna, I wanna affirm again unto you this most solid foundation. Yeah. Yeah. Now, there's, a, there's, a, there's a promise fulfillment coming yet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, we're, 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 we, will, we are given the taste of that blessedness even now, but the fullness... See, it's still yet to come. We have a first fruit partaking of this blessedness. All those, all, this is speaking of all those that are in Christ Jesus. Amen. Every one of these, every one of us that are in Christ Jesus, this blessedness attains to you, mm -hmm. pertains to you. And that's the declaration of the gospel. It's to those who are built upon and building on that foundation which God laid. Mm -hmm which no man can lay, That's right. which is Jesus Christ our Lord. Mm -hmm. So I want, to, I want to begin by rehearsing this most solid foundation, mm -hmm. that of the circumcision of Christ. That's what we're focusing on mm -hmm. here. This mm -hmm. is what His death accomplished. Yeah, right. Jesus' death accomplished this first and foremost before God. Mm -hmm. Before right. God. Mm -hmm. had to be, this had to be done before God. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's right. And because of what Jesus accomplished before God, blessedness comes yes. to those who yes. believe. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. Now this, the fulfilling of God's purpose required that the Word, who was in the beginning with God, mm -hmm. and was God, mm -hmm. in order for God's eternal purpose to be fulfilled, mm -hmm. it required that the Word become flesh right. and mm -hmm. dwell among us. Mm -hmm. And this the Word did taking upon him the form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of men. And his name was called Jesus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In this, the Word humbled himself to a degree incomprehensible yeah. to men in order to accomplish what was necessary to the fulfillment of God's will and purpose. See, this, mm -hmm. these things had to occur mm -hmm. in order for the benefits to be able to be obtained by right. men. Now, there was much in his humility that would be required of Jesus to accomplish. And the gospel announces that Jesus did. He did accomplish all those things that the Father had sent him for. And the pinnacle of his accomplishments would be his death, his circumcision. Jesus being cut off out of the land of the living. See, that was that which would, would began this, this matter of the, that which he was sent for to accomplish. His death, his death. He did so, the scripture says, mm -hmm. for the transgression of his people. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, mm -hmm. that's what this death was, was working unto. Mm -hmm. And on that highest of the days of the appointed feasts given by God, the day of atonement, mm -hmm. the Lamb of God was made to be sin for us who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Mm -hmm. See, all those feasts that were, were recorded there in, in, in Moses... And the prophets there, they were all pointing to this main way. The main feast. The Day of Atonement. 
when, when, when the Lamb the lamb came no. and God made Him to be sin. Mm -hmm. The one who knew no sin, He made Him to be sin for us. The Apostle Peter confirmed this about the truth of Jesus. 1 Peter 2.24 His own self bear our sins mm -hmm. in His own body yeah. on the tree. Yeah. That's the announcement of what Jesus was sent to accomplish. And that death, He would continue to say, would bring benefit mm -hmm. and blessedness to all those who are joined to Him. Mm -hmm. That we, being dead to sin, See, there's, there's the benefit of being joined to his death. Uh -huh. Should live under righteousness. Mm -hmm. That's what he's announcing. It's by his stripes you're healed. Amen. Mm -hmm. It's by his stripes you're healed. Yeah. Amen. See, these are, these are not, we're, we're going to look at this. This is not works of, that we've, uh, we've done. Mm -hmm. See, this is what, what God did in Christ. Mm -hmm. Now, some of these benefits about this death and those who are, are joined to him in it. That's the fulfilling of that purpose which God had purposed from the beginning about His creation man. <clears throat> Exodus 25, 8 says, God speaking now, that I may dwell among them. Yes, amen. Again, in the 22nd verse of Exodus 25, I will meet with them, and I will commune with them. This is, this is what God's desire was. He announced this to be. This is what God wanted to do. Mm -hmm. But he, in, these, in these early announcements of, of God, of His desire and His purpose, mm -hmm. They had, Israel had no idea to mm -hmm. the extent of which God would have to go to partake of this and the extent of what that really meant. Mm -hmm. What would it be about God dwelling with His people and communing with them? Mm -hmm. Now, it would be the gospel that would make manifest this fullness of God dwelling with men as He purposed. As He purposed. Well, as He purposed, that necessitated the removal of sin. Yeah. In order for God to dwell among mm -hmm. men, yeah. as He as He purposed, yeah. uh -huh. sin would have to be removed, Amen. taken away, put away. Yep. Mm -hmm. Not of ours only, mm -hmm. yep. the sins of the whole world. That's right. Yep. The sins of the whole world had to be dealt with. Mm -hmm. See, for the righteous God would have no fellowship. He would have no part with unrighteousness. Mm -hmm. Not then... Not now, and most certainly not in the ages to come and yeah. in the world to come. Uh -huh. It will not happen. Mm -hmm. But see, he began to send forth his prophets and his, and his preachers to, to tell about this atoning death of Jesus and what it would accomplish. He would say things as, as far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgression mm -hmm. from us. Mm -hmm. See, there, they, in, in the words that the Spirit gave to these holy men of God, as, as He moved them to speak these things, He was very precise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He would remove them from you. Yeah. God was going to remove them Amen. from you. Now, this, this, when, when these things were declared, it, it caused an anticipation, even in the ones who were saying it. What would, wh who would be this one? So even, even the angels desired to look into this. That's they, right. wanted, they were desirous to look into what God was doing. He was going to... He was going to put away their sin as far as the east is from the west. And when Jesus did die, see, when he did die, his resurrection from the dead validated his death as being effectual for yeah. the atonement of man's sins. Mm -hmm. See, when God was working here, mm -hmm. God was working here when, he, when Jesus hung on the cross, he did die. Yeah. yeah. Not, nothing was really shown about what that death accomplished. Yeah. Uh -huh. But the gospel announces right. yeah, what right. did happen yeah. Yeah. on that cross. Mm -hmm. And even more so, what happened when Jesus raised from the dead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Paul puts it this way, Jesus was delivered for our offenses. That's why Jesus died. Mm -hmm. He died because of sin. He mm -hmm. died to put away sin. Amen. But he says he was raised yeah. for our justification. Right. Yeah. So that death was in order that. Yeah. Yeah. That something that God had purpose and desired mm -hmm. precisely would come forth from that death. Mm -hmm. And how did he make that known? He raised him from the dead. Mm -hmm. He raised Jesus from the dead for our justification. God raised him up. Yeah. The glorious gospel of the blessed God now is announced. Mm -hmm. It reveals that God is satisfied with Jesus' offering. Yeah, that's right. Jesus, God is satisfied with that offering of himself as a lamb without blemish, without spot. And that, <clears throat> with the offering of his precious blood, the sin offering of atonement, 
Jesus appeared before the Lord God Almighty in the holy place. Not the one made with hands, but in the heaven itself. This is, mm-hmm. this is where Jesus had to make that offering. That's right. Mm-hmm. In the heaven itself. Yeah. He would appear mm-hmm. in the presence of God for us. Yes, amen. amen. Now, the scripture announces this, this glorious event. Mm-hmm. As the Son was raised from the dead, it says He ascended into heaven. Mm-hmm. And as He was coming to the to the gates of glory, mm-hmm. the shout from the throne went forth, Open ye wide the gates! Yeah. Mm-hmm. Open them wide! Yeah, that's right. <clears throat> king of glory is entering into Amen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, who is this king? These <laughs> heavenly beings. Who is this king of uh-huh. glory? Yeah. <clears throat> and as he approached, mm-hmm. He approached and he's looking like he had royal garb on, Mm -hmm. the garb of kings. But as he got closer, Mm -hmm. they noted something about his garb. Mm -hmm. It wasn't clothed with the garbs of kings Mm -hmm. and of prince and of royalty. Mm -hmm. He was covered in blood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He approached heaven Mm -hmm. with his own blood. That's right. And he came before the judge of all the earth in his blood. That he would be, his work would be scrutinized by God. Yeah. As he's just, he, 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 would, he wanted to make sure his work was done justly mm-hmm. and righteously mm-hmm. and in holiness. And upon his looking upon his son, <coughs> he says, Well done. Yes, amen. amen. Well done, yes. my amen. good and faithful servant. Yes. Well done, son. Yes, amen. And, and God seeing this mm-hmm. work of Christ. Mm-hmm. He says, I will be merciful to their unrighteousness. Amen. Speaking of men now, mm-hmm. I will be merciful to their yeah, unrighteousness right. uh-huh. yeah. and their sins and iniquities I will remember no more. No more. And then he says, put a crown of gold upon his head. <laughs> yeah. Crown him with, with glory and honor and majesty mm-hmm. and power and riches mm-hmm. and blessing. Mm-hmm. God said the exaltation of Jesus Christ here. Mm-hmm. He's announcing because of what he accomplished yeah. for God. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For God. <coughs> we haven't really entered into the picture yet. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But this was a man, remember that. This was a man that had entered That's into right. the throne room. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You imagine those, those he- heavenly, heavenly personalities yeah. seeing a man approaching the very throne. <laughs> Yes. Of God. How would God deal with such a man? Well, he was he was now able to be just and shown to be just and the justifier yes, of believe right. Jesus. See, uh-huh. He's already laying that, that solid foundation. Mm-hmm. That foundation of <coughs> acceptance before God. Mm-hmm. He would go on to say, and let the angels of God worship him. Mm-hmm. Worship this one that I have exalted to mm-hmm. my right hand. He would say, Sit down. Yeah. At my right hand, uh-huh, till yeah. I make thine enemies thy footstool. Amen. Uh-huh. <clears throat> and his final announcement, mm-hmm. there's many more, excuse me, that we can talk about. Yeah. He says, I have set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. Mm-hmm. Yes, amen. That's right. That was God's declaration. Yeah. So roll thou in the midst of thine enemies. Yes. <laughs> and there's even more. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> he would make this announcement, I, I have sworn, mm-hmm. and I have shall not repent. Yeah. Thou art a a priest forever. Yes. Amen. 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 This, 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 this is all part of that exaltation yes. of Jesus after he rose, after he died, rose from the dead, and he was received. See, mm-hmm. that's, that's a good news. He was yeah. received yeah. by God. Mm-hmm. Thou art a priest forever. Mm-hmm. Jesus, God announced of Jesus. Mm-hmm. Now it's from this solid foundation of Jesus' mm-hmm. accomplished death, burial, and resurrection. That we now have that which we can be joined to. See, apart from Jesus accomplishing these things, what would we be joined to? Mm-hmm. What could we be joined to? Mm-hmm. In a matter of <clears throat> what was necessary in order for our sins to be put away. Mm-hmm. In order for the body of sin, of our sins mm-hmm. to be cut off from mm-hmm. us. God had made that provision in Christ Jesus. Mm-hmm. What he had accomplished. That's what Romans 6 does say. <clears throat> Verse, verse 3 of Romans 6, Know ye not that so many of us that were baptized into Jesus Christ, mm-hmm. we weren't just baptized, we are baptized into Jesus Christ. That's right. Mm-hmm. We are baptized into His death. Yeah. Yeah. God had made that provision. He, he prepared a death that men could enter into and partake of. 
Therefore we are buried with him <coughs> by baptism. Into mm -hmm. death. Brother Bill <coughs> talked about that. That we're dead to sins now. See, we're dead. Mm -hmm. But that's not the end. That is not the determined end that God had sent forth his son. Mm -hmm. right. That, in order that, like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. Yes. That's, yes. See, there's, the, there's that working of God under, uh -huh. under the fulfilling of His purpose. Mm -hmm. He just didn't want to have a lot of dead people around Him. Mm -hmm. He wanted people to have life. Mm -hmm. yeah. right. See, that, that ab abundant life. Mm -hmm. Recognition of what God has done in Christ Jesus. Uh -huh. And now, those who are joined to His death, <clears throat> and burial and are, and are raised to walk in newness of life there's the attainment or the obtaining of the announced blessedness mm -hmm. to all of them that believe the record that God has given mm -hmm. of his son all of them all of them are, have obtained these things and there the gospel announces this to be true uh -huh. See, it's only the gospel that can make this known and by the grace of God he he has amen so it's from this sure and steadfast foundation that the good news, which follows, is sure and steadfast mm -hmm. as well. That's why it's sure and steadfast. Because that foundation is sure yeah. and yes, steadfast. Amen. That's why we preach Christ. Yes. So that you would know it's a solid foundation. Yeah. And from this sure foundation, the Apostle Paul is going to declare that good news of the blessedness of the man yeah. under whom God imputeth righteousness yeah. Without works. Without works. Without man's works. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. They're with God's works. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But he's saying here it's without our works. Mm -hmm. That's why he's imputing righteousness to us. And, and that blessedness has to do with iniquities. Your iniquities uh -huh. being forgiven. Mm -hmm. And your sins being covered. Mm -hmm. And he has done this. Harken us back to Abraham. God spoke about this in the beginning. So the apostle is going to take us back to the beginning. Yes, that's right. Uh -huh. For well, these things that were written about Abraham were written for our learning. Mm -hmm. Our learning about God. Yeah, that's right. And about his ways. Uh -huh. And that through patience and the comfort of the scriptures, we have hope. We would have hope. See, we, we do have hope. Amen. Through the, through the provision that God has made. <clears throat> so we'll start in the beginning of chapter 4 of Romans. With this announcement mm -hmm. of, the, of the Apostle Paul. Mm -hmm. What shall we say then? Yeah. That Abraham, our father, is pertaining to the flesh, has found. See, there's things to be found in right. what God is doing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Not found in the sense that things were lost and God was looking for some help to find these things. <laughs> yeah. But it's found in the sense of perceiving. Yes. Right. Found in the sense of <clears throat> obtaining. Mm -hmm. Found in the sense of walking in those things which you have perceived mm -hmm. and which you have obtained. Amen. Mm -hmm. See, this is not a... This is not a um, I'm going to call it a, 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 a bystander salvation. Yeah, that's right. We don't just sit and watch. Uh -huh. See, we enter in. That's right. We enter in. We do. We are ones that do perceive and partake and walk in. That's right. Yeah. See, these things that, that are to be found or to be obtained, mm -hmm. they're good things. Yeah. Yes. These are good things. Amen. These, are, these are things that God determined for his people to obtain. Mm -hmm. And these things are eternal things. Right. Moth and rust don't corrupt these things. Thieves don't break in and steal these things. These are the good things of God which he bringeth forth out of the good measure of his heart. Amen. Mm -hmm. These are good things of God. Amen. Just, just in, the, in these first few verses, good things. What, what, what has he found? Justified. Mm -hmm. huh? That's a good thing. Mm -hmm. Righteousness. Reward. In verse 4. Verse, verse 5. Faith. In verse 6, if you will, a, a, a summation, the blessedness of the man. Yeah, See, these, uh -huh. are the, these are the things that, that God has determined for men to partake of and obtain and, and, and to walk in. Good things, good things. They brought on to the people to find, to partake of, to obtain, to experience. And God's desire was to bring forth these things in the very beginning. Yeah, That's the thing right. we want to see. This is God's purpose, mm -hmm. His working. Having to do with men. So therefore, the, the Apostle Paul again is speaking about this. Bringing us right back to Abraham and showing this is true. This is the truth of God. Mm -hmm. One of those things that Abraham 
found, if you were, mm -hmm. justification. Mm -hmm. He's announcing it wasn't by his works, though, just so you know that. It's not by his works, because mm -hmm. he, he, he would have something to glory from. See, he would, he would be not counted as debt. He would be counted as debt, excuse mm -hmm. me, if it was by works, it would be like God owed him something. Mm -hmm. so it wasn't in that manner. Right. He couldn't, he couldn't do that. No man was able to do that. Right. It was not, <clears throat> it was not, work, it was not reckoned of, of reward, it was, record, it was rec reckoned of grace. See, this is mm -hmm. something God wanted to, he had determined to by grace he was going to save men. Now this matter of being justified, this is not a partial justification. Mm -hmm. He would later go on to say, you're justified from all things. That's right. All things. Mm -hmm. All things that had, that had to do with sin and iniquity and transgression about guilt. See, all things you've been justified from. But the law of Moses couldn't do that. That's right. mm -hmm. But you have been justified from all things. Amen. But see, this in the, even in this matter, this working of God, it's always in this, in order that. Mm -hmm. It's in order that. Mm -hmm. uh, Paul preached this. This was, this was, a, this was a, a message that the, the apostles preached all the time. This, was, this mm -hmm. was the good news they were declaring. If you recall in Acts chapter 13, <clears throat> Paul was at the, um, the synagogue of, of, in, of Antioch and Pisidia. Mm -hmm. he, began to, he began to preach the good news. Mm -hmm. He talked about, as you go through this in 13, mm -hmm. and I'm just going to skim through some of these, but in verse 28, uh, as, he, as he opens this up about what Moses and the prophets had been speaking about, he was, he was condemned for for what they what men brought up against him. Mm -hmm. But they verse twenty eight says they found no cause for death, yet desired they Pilate that he should be slain. Mm -hmm. And when they had fulfilled all that was written of him, they took him down from the tree and laid him in a sepulchre. In other words, G Jesus died. Mm -hmm. But that's not the end of the story, as we know. Mm -hmm. Or at, of the account. It's not the end of the account. Mm -hmm. But God raised him from the dead. Yeah. This is something Paul would continue to say. This was this was something that Paul wanted to announce, yeah, that's right. but God raised him from the dead. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And again, verse 33, he raised up Jesus mm -hmm. again. See, mm -hmm. this, is, this is something that they had to know, because yeah, right. God was, God was going to show him something through this, yeah, that's right. him raising him through the dead. Verse 34, he raised him up from the dead. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> verse 36, about this, this comparison with David, and yet he said, <clears throat> verse 37, but whom God raised again. See, this is this is an announcement. Yeah. What is what is it what is it, Father, that you want us to see in in, in your raising of Jesus from the dead? Verse thirty eight. Be it known unto you, therefore, men and brethren, mm -hmm. that through this man is preached unto you mm -hmm. the forgiveness mm -hmm. of sins. Amen. That's what Amen. that's what he wanted men to know. Yeah, that's right. right. It's not something that might be. Yeah. It might, it might, it's not something that could be. Uh -huh. He's declaring what is. Amen. Yes. See, what Paul was preaching yeah. is the forgiveness of sins. Yes. Amen. Jesus put him away. Be it known unto you by the resurrection of the dead that this thing God is revealing about his sacrifice. He's revealing Jesus' sacrifice and offering. That it was. He did put away sins by the sacrifice of himself. Amen. He did it. Yes. And being raised from the dead, as the prophets, as those prophets that you knew of, talking to, to, the, to, the, to the Jews, mm -hmm. they would know this. Daniel foretold mm -hmm. of a time when he would finish the transgression. Yeah. And would make an end of sin. Amen. Mm -hmm. he's, he's announcing it. See, mm -hmm. Paul's announcing it right now. This is this is this is that. Mm -hmm. This is that. By the resurrection of the dead. Mm -hmm. He made an end of sins. Paul's, from his perspective, he's saying, you've been forgiven of your sins. Yeah, right. And by him, verse 39, mm -hmm. by Jesus, mm -hmm. because of Jesus, all that believe mm -hmm. are justified yeah. from all things. Amen. That's Amen. the good news of the gospel. Amen. By him. Amen. It's by Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. That you take hold of this by faith. So even, even here, he's announcing that, yes. that matter of partaking That's right. That's by right. believing. So it's mm -hmm. by believing. <clears throat> so, so this matter of, of <clears throat> justification from all things is in order to, is in order that there's something coming from that, it's something that God purposed. 
something that God desired. He, he put away sins so that he can impute righteousness mm -hmm. to you. And this is the working of God. He, he, he put away your sins, mm -hmm. and that wasn't the end. It was the, it was the, provision, the provision necessary mm -hmm. in order that he could impute that which he desired from the beginning. Yeah. His righteousness. Amen. He was going to impute it to you, and that's exactly what he's done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we, we, uh, we obtain it now. He's also revealing God's ways in this. Uh -huh. The ways of obtaining this righteousness is by faith. Mm -hmm. It's by believing, mm -hmm. believing these things that have been announced. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> what Jesus has done. We hang our eternal souls on Christ. Amen. And that's the Amen. position we're in now. That's right. Amen. See, we're trusting wholly mm -hmm. in that which Jesus did. Amen. Right. We're trusting in that. We're believing in that. Mm -hmm. Our hope is in that. Uh -huh. Amen. Hanging our souls on it, brethren. Our dependence is on Him mm -hmm. and Him alone. That's right. Now, the record of Abraham reveals this is to be true of God. See, we're see, starting from the beginning to making these things known. That's what mm -hmm. the apostles are opening up to us. <clears throat> now, if Abraham were justified by works, mm -hmm. he hath where to, of to glory, but not before God. Mm -hmm. He had something to glory, and if he did it, but think about the record. Mm -hmm. Think about the record of Abraham, beginning there in Genesis 12, and as it continues on. What was Abraham noted for? Mm -hmm. What great work did he do? Did he? Did he? Is he, is he noted for you know, turning, you know defeating mighty armies like David did? How about like, make, make, making a building like a temple like Solomon did? What was it that Abraham was noted of? Thanks. Noted of. By God. Amen. That's, that's right. the point. Not uh -huh. noted up by men. Yeah. Mm -hmm. men, may, men may go into the record and, and note some things mm -hmm. about him, mm -hmm. but they could be wrong in that. See, we want to be we want to be sure in what how God noted Abraham. Amen. He was noted by God mm -hmm. for believing him. Amen. Amen. God's record of Abraham is that his faith is in God. That's right. That's that's what he's noted for. Mm -hmm. Abraham is the one who believed in what God said. Mm -hmm. And then he obeyed him. That's what the record leaves us thinking about. Right. As you go through the record of Abraham, mm -hmm. you want to you have that same <coughs> way of looking at things as God has. That's right. He has left us a record of Abraham, and that record leaves us thinking about faith mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and believing God. That's what, that's what the right. apostle here is opening up to us. So, mm -hmm. See, we needed, to, we needed to have our eyes open that's about right. that. Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. The otherwise, we would have looked at it like this historical record, and uh -huh, yeah, now right. he defeated this one king, and uh -huh. he dealt with Lot, and yeah, he had yeah. rescued Lot. And see, that's 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 the wrong thing. I mean, those things all happen, yeah, yeah, right. yeah. but he's saying there's something more here. You know, Amen. Yeah. Amen. But he opened up our eyes. Thank yeah. God. Yeah, thank God. Leave us to believe. Mm -hmm. Leave us to thinking about Abraham, about believing God, because in that in that record too, <coughs> we'll get down to this matter. Mm -hmm. There's blessedness involved yes, here. Is, right. we, want to, we want to partake of that blessedness. Mm -hmm. And it's through that early account of Abraham that one of those most glorious aspects of God's person is made known. Mm -hmm. This matter of reward. See, verse 4 talks about a reward. See, God is, and He is a rewarder. It has already began to be developed here in the, in, by Abraham. He's a rewarder mm -hmm. of them that diligently seek him. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> the, reward, the reward, though, is one of a, of a, of a glorious nature. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the reward is the righteousness of God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, that's, that's what Abraham believed God and mm -hmm. counted him for righteousness. Mm -hmm. That's what, these, that's what this, this text is, is, is leading us to, to, to. To believe that record. See, Abraham... Obtain these things through faith. That's what mm -hmm. it's announcing to us. Mm -hmm. In the early on, it's being revealed. Mm -hmm. God is a rewarder of them that seek Him. Yeah. By faith. Amen. By faith. By believing. And He will reward them. <clears throat> and that, and this, this thinking about this reward, it's it's almost inexpressible. Mm -hmm. And yet, we do express it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Causes the heart to rejoice. Amen. Amen. That's what it does. Yeah. When you partake of this blessedness, uh -huh. it does cause the heart to rejoice. Mm -hmm. And it causes the tongue mm -hmm. to yeah. sing out into yeah. the yeah. into the praise of God. That's right. Yeah. And to give him thanksgiving mm -hmm. and glory for what he has done. Mm -hmm. 
That's right. So we may not hear all the right words, mm -hmm. <coughs> but see, we can express that that work that He has done in us. Amen. That's right. Amen. Mm -hmm. Verse five says, <coughs> "But to him that worketh not, but believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly, mm -hmm. his faith mm -hmm. is counted for righteousness." So now He's He's taken it from Abraham, yeah. and He's brought it unto men now. Mm -hmm. See, this is we, we talked about some of these things. It wasn't accounted for him only, mm -hmm. see, but for us. Right. That's the announcement here. That matter of being righteous before God. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> now, verse 6 says, Even as David also mm -hmm. describeth the blessedness of the man, unto whom God imputeth righteousness without works, mm -hmm. saying, Blessed, are these whose iniquities are covered, are forgiven, mm -hmm. and whose sins are covered. Mm -hmm. Blessed is the man to whom the Lord will not impute sin. Amen. 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 See, this, this matter of David describing this. Uh -huh. See, I'm, I'm not going to de define blessedness to you. Mm -hmm. I can't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't. It's just too big, and I don't mm -hmm. want to. Mm -hmm. But I want, what, I want, what I want to do, and I want you all to do, is to obtain that blessedness. Yeah. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, the definition, men try to put things, uh, like define things of God in a little box. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But the, it doesn't, a box can't hold this. That's right. See? No. But we can describe this. David yeah. can describe this. That's to, right. That we can affirm these things we are experienced by those who believe. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. See, these things are experienced and tasted of uh -huh. by all them that believe. Uh -huh. All them whose sins are covered and iniquities are forgiven, uh -huh. this blessedness. We, yeah. we, we, we have it. Uh -huh. Yeah. And I also want to tell you, it's not like the blessings given to the keepers of the law. Mm -hmm. It's not like yeah. that at all. It's not like that at all. These who kept the law, if, in, in, it's recorded in Deuteronomy 28, there were blessings in keeping the law. Mm -hmm. There were blessings. Chapter 28 of Deuteronomy, verse 2 says, All these blessings shall come upon thee if you keep the law perfectly. All these, all these blessings here are going to come yeah. on you. Yeah. And overtake thee. If thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, mm -hmm. blessed shall thou be in the city. Blessed shall thou be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of thy ground, and the fruit of thy cattle, and the increase of thy kind, and the flocks of thy sheep. Blessed, blessed shall be thy basket in your storehouses. This mm -hmm. is this is going to be blessings and they'll be poured out into mm -hmm. those who keep the law perfectly. Mm -hmm. Verse eleven. And the Lord shall make thee plenteous in goods, and the fruit of thy body in the fruit of thy cattle, in the fruit of the ground, in the land which thou, the Lord God, sworn to his fathers to give them. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to tell you, what these blessings here are too small. Mm -hmm. They're just too small, that's right. and they definitely are too temporal. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. The eternal and everlasting God who's going to bless is not bless in the manner of temporality. Mm -hmm. It's an eternal God with an everlasting mm -hmm. purpose. Mm -hmm. And that purpose is, is being obtained by men. Mm -hmm. You think about it. When Jesus comes again, and everything is burnt up. Mm -hmm. And this is, these are the blessings. This is, these are the, 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 the determined blessings of God. And the ground's gone. The cattle's gone. The fruit's gone. Your, your baskets are gone. Your storehouses is gone. <laughs> is that the blessingness he's talking about here? No. God forbid. God forbid. Yeah. Eternal, everlasting God. Amen. See, when God talks about blessing forever, mm -hmm. he's able to do that. Amen. 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 These are not the blessings, the blessedness that he's talking about here. Mm -hmm. he's talking about the blessedness of the man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, are there blessings that come unto us? Amen. Yeah. Amen. Uh -huh. But see, there's something greater here. Yes, it is. The blessedness of the man, mm -hmm. of who you are in Christ mm -hmm. Jesus. Mm -hmm. That's blessedness. Mm -hmm. See, even in the meltdown, these things <clears throat> will have no effect on the waning, breaking down, or reducing the effectualness of God's righteousness that he has imputed to his people. See, that, the, 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 when, this, when this world is, is, is burnt up, see, that's not going to affect his righteousness that was imputed to you. That, actually, you think about it, that righteousness was to be obtained here, but see, it's really for there. It's for then and there. See, that's when it's going to be uh, utilized in, in, the, in the, the capacity that God had given us for. See, it's, but it's got to be obtained now. Yeah. That's the point of the Gospels making. Because if it's not, you're going to be cut off. Yeah, that's right. that's some of the things that we heard as well. Amen. Now this, this righteousness, this blessedness from God, 
Again, he sent his prophets to, be, to speak of this early. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 54, 17 says, This righteousness, talking about the righteousness that imputed those in Christ, mm -hmm. God says, it's of me, mm -hmm. say it the Lord. Thy God. See, this is something from God. Mm -hmm. It's of God. It's a righteousness of God. Verse 51, 7 of Isaiah says, My righteousness, speaking of God's righteousness, shall be forever. Ooh, that's Amen. good. See, that's good to hear. Mm -hmm. this, is a, this is a righteousness mm -hmm. that's not going to fade away. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's not attached to the world. Yeah. The things that are attached to the world are going to be fading away. Yeah. They're going to they're be burnt away. Yeah, that's right. Not, not, his, not his righteousness. Yeah, that's right. He says, Mine's forever. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And again, when God speaks about this matter of forever, He's able to perform that which He's promised. Yeah. Men think in terms of forever as relating to the longevity of the heavens and the earth. Mm -hmm. Claiming all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation and will probably do so. Mm -hmm. But God says, lift up your eyes to the heavens. Yeah. Lift mm -hmm. them up. Mm -hmm. And look, look, about, look at this earth. Yeah. Look at the, upon this earth beneath. The heavens shall vanish away like smoke. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Earth shall wax old as a garment. And they that dwell upon it shall die in like manner, mm -hmm. but my salvation shall be forever, mm -hmm. and my righteousness shall not be abolished. Amen. Amen. See, this, this, is, this is what God is imputing to men mm -hmm. who believe the record God has given to the Son. Mm -hmm. is, this, is, this is this a part of this blessedness that, that is the blessedness of the man. Amen. Mm -hmm. Now, we, we, even now, we do partake of this blessedness. We do. Unto whom the God imputeth righteousness without works, whose iniquities are forgiven and whose sins are covered. And, and, as, and this blessedness, as David described, is by the measure of grace given to him. But yet it was true. It's true. Mm -hmm. we, we, we hear these things that David spoke about, this blessedness, and the gospel amplifies it. Mm -hmm. Opens it up there, to the truth and the reality of it. David said in Psalm 5.12, For thou, Lord, will bless the righteous... With favor. Mm -hmm. There's something that's a part of that blessedness. Favor. We're just talking about favor. Amen. Favor that speaks of acceptance and delight. Mm -hmm. yeah. Acceptance by God of you mm -hmm. and His delighting in you. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's what's opened up in the, in the Gospels about Him having favor upon mm -hmm. you. It was recorded. It was recorded in the Scripture for us by an account. Mm -hmm. Back there in, in, in Esther. Do you remember that account? In Esther 5, it came to pass on the third day, Esther put on her royal apparel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Something had to be put on mm -hmm. because she was going to be into the presence That's of the right. king. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. so she had to put on mm -hmm. royal apparel because she was going to stand in the inner court of the king's house. Mm -hmm. And as she entered, the king was there. Mm -hmm. He sat upon his royal throne in his royal house. Mm -hmm. That's right. She was coming forward. Now, in verse 2 of Esther 5, when the king saw Esther, the queen standing in the court, that she obtained favor in his sight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Now, you remember what, what, what Isaiah said about sin, how it, how it has separated from you, God, that he will not, he has turned his face from you, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and he will not hear you. Here it says the king saw her. Mm -hmm. See, there's, there's, these things are, are pointing to this, mm -hmm. this matter yeah. of being made righteousness, mm -hmm. see, yeah. acceptance mm -hmm. of God, favor Amen. of God. Amen. And the king held out to Esther the golden scepter mm -hmm. yeah. that was in his hand. And so Esther drew near yeah. and touched the top of the scepter. See, that's, that's talking about this matter of being yeah. received of God, accepted, accepted of God in his courts. Mm -hmm. Acceptance by God of you. See, it's, we want to, as as, he's, as the scripture is declaring these things. See, this is a this is a very personal thing for each and every one of those whose sins are covered uh -huh. and whose iniquities are forgiven. Amen. And who, and righteousness is imputed to them. Uh -huh. And this is precisely how the apostle Paul would declare this blessedness of the man. He God hath made us accepted in the beloved. Yeah. yeah. See, puts mm -hmm. us points us right back to that yeah. work which Christ has done. Mm -hmm. We are accepted of God, but it's in the Beloved. Mm -hmm. This is what God has done through Jesus Christ our Lord. And with that knowledge, see, that's, that's not even the, the end all of the matter. Mm -hmm. See, with the knowledge of acceptance comes boldness to draw near. Mm -hmm. 
that you're accepted of the, of the beloved, well, yep. then draw, you draw near to God. Right. Mm -hmm. You draw near, because he's, he's made you accepted. He's made it known unto That's you right. what Jesus did, that he did put away sin. Mm -hmm. Amen. So you come boldly mm -hmm. to the throne of grace, to the holy, holy, holy God, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that you obtain mercy and find grace to help in your time. Amen. 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 It's been made known, though, because of Jesus. Mm -hmm. yeah. Again, David described the blessedness of the man to whom God imputes righteousness without works. Mm -hmm. Psalm 14, 5. God is in the generation yeah. of the righteous. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, there's many generations listed in the scriptures. Mm -hmm. Okay, many generations. But it doesn't say that he's in the generation of men. Mm -hmm. He's in the generation of the righteous. Yes. Not like, see, this is not, in, in this generation that he's speaking of, is not like men count generations. Mm -hmm. Father begat a son, mm -hmm. who begat a son, who begat a son. There's grandsons and, mm -hmm. and great-grandchildren. There's cousins and aunts and uncles. Mm -hmm. In this generation, there's only sons. Yeah, amen. They are all the sons of God. Yeah, uh-huh. All the sons of God. Mm -hmm. From the beginning of that generation, with righteous Abel, uh -huh. even unto the very last one, Whose will partake of the righteousness of God mm -hmm. uh -huh. in Christ Jesus? Yeah. They're all part of that generation. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. That generation that Jesus was 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 lamenting when he was cut off out of the mm -hmm. land of the living. Mm -hmm. He would he had no generation according to the flesh. Yeah. Uh -huh. But God would raise up a mighty generation that's to right. him. Yeah. Mighty generation, and they're all sons. Mm -hmm. They're all sons. Mm -hmm. And he is the one that is reckoned. As the everlasting Father. Yes. It came yep. through mm -hmm. Christ and because of Christ. Mm -hmm. God is in the generation. And God's in that generation. That's right. Now there was a <clears throat> there was also so I think Brother Bill read this too, that we know that God doesn't hear sinners. We know that. Mm -hmm. But there's something else we know about God. Yeah. In Psalm in the Psalms, it speaks about this 3417. The righteous cry, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the Lord heareth. Amen. Amen. The Lord heareth. See, He hears the cries of the righteous. That's right. Amen. Doesn't hear sinners, mm -hmm. but He hears the cries of the righteous, mm -hmm. and He acts. Yeah. See, He acts out of that. He delivers them out of all their troubles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's that's the Lord. Mm -hmm. That's talking about this blessedness of the man. Blessedness of the man. Mm -hmm. See, to whom the Lord imputeth righteousness without works. Mm -hmm. Psalm thirty-seven, thirty-nine. <clears throat> The salvation of the righteous is of the Lord. So he, these, these things were announced back here, and the gospel's opening up the truth of that. See, Paul's opening up this, this truth here in, in, in Romans 4 that the salvation of the righteous is of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. See, there's, he's, he, he's, he's bringing these things to bear upon our, in our thoughts and upon our, in our minds and our hearts of this truth. He's, he's bringing that truth to us. But see, it's, it, 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 there's an effect in that. See, that, that we would hope in God. Mm -hmm. we our hope and trust is in God. Right. And then Psalm 58, 11 says, Verily, <clears throat> or most assuredly, or count on this, verily, there is a reward for the righteous. Mm -hmm. See, God is a rewarder. Mm -hmm. He's a rewarder. Amen. And we're going to talk, we're going to talk about what is that, that pinnacle of the reward. Mm -hmm. The blessedness of the man. See, it's because mm -hmm. of the blessedness of the man, this reward that God has desired and determined is going to be obtained by them. Mm -hmm. but, uh, <clears throat> but why is this knowledge of righteousness necessary? Why do we have to know about this matter of being imputed righteousness to us? Because mm -hmm. there's a need for it. Mm -hmm. And that need for righteousness is because of the effects of sin upon mm -hmm. us. And if you don't think sin has had an effect on men and the entire race, the scripture reveals it most certainly has. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It says that sin separates you from your God. That's right. Mm -hmm. Sin presses down hard on you. Sin binds you to it. Sin imprisons you to it by its power and domination. Sin blinds you to God and His glory. It presses you into the dust. And it casts you on a dunghill of waste and unusefulness to God. That's right. That's, that's what sin does. Mm -hmm. It's not a question of what might or will. That's what sin does. Mm -hmm. But the gospel has some good news to announce. Mm -hmm. But God, as one of the brethren said. Mm -hmm. God will take such ones who believe him and obey him, 
who trust in what Jesus accomplished on the cross and what Jesus is now doing from the right hand of the majesty on high, says he raised them out of the yeah, dust. Uh -huh. This is what God's doing through Christ. He lifted them up mm -hmm. from the dunghill uh -huh. to set them among princes and to obtain the throne of glory. Amen. Amen. See, this was, this was announced back in 1 Samuel 2.8 of what God was going to do. Mm -hmm. See, his was always determined to be an eternal purpose. Yep. That which God had raised you up from and rescued you from and delivered you from mm -hmm. was for the world to come and to the ages to come. Yeah. He was gonna he would make you, he'd make you his good. He's God's mm -hmm. doing this. He's gonna make you to inherit the throne of God. Yes, amen. Yeah. Favor. See, this is favor. Yeah. This is talking yeah. about favor and blessedness. Mm -hmm. Good things that God determined to, to grant unto men. The righteousness of God, see, is now imputed unto men. And it must be found, it must be obtained now. Because of that, that benefit is, is, is going to go into the world to come and the ages to come. See, here's, here's the gospel announces that to obtain it now. And God has made the provision by where we can. See, the fullness <coughs> of the new heavens and the new earth is described in this manner. Wherein dwelleth righteousness. Mm -hmm. That's that's the manner of the new kingdom, in the new heavens and the new earth. It's one of righteousness, and by the working of God, that includes us. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you've been made righteous. You've been made righteous, mm -hmm. so that we are, we're going to fit perfectly right into that mm -hmm. new heavens and the new earth. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> in Psalm 146, 8, David again describes mm -hmm. the blessedness of the man, whom God imputes righteousness to without works. He says, the Lord loveth the righteous. Yeah, amen. amen. There's, there's a declaration. Yes. Take hold of. He loveth amen. the righteous. Mm -hmm. And that love will be most fully manifested in the ages to come and mm -hmm. the world to come. Mm -hmm. Amen. As the tabernacle of God is with men. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As God is dwelling with us. And we are his people. And God himself is with us. Mm -hmm. And is our God. Mm -hmm. when, the, when, the, when the reality of that is fully made manifest. Mm -hmm. See? Mm -hmm. God is, God is gonna, that, that love is going to be expressed in no other manner. In the fullest sense, fullest sense of His eternal purpose. Mm -hmm. See, God has given the righteous an earnest or a pledge that He will do this very promise. And is and will be through and in and because of our Lord Jesus mm -hmm. Christ. And none other. You remember after Jesus died, was buried, and he rose again. Mm -hmm. He was received in glory. He was exalted to the right hand of the throne of God. Mm -hmm. He was given power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. Mm -hmm. He was also given the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And the first thing he did in his reign mm -hmm. was send forth his Spirit. That's right. Uh -huh. He sent forth his Spirit into the hearts of the 120 in the upper room. And the scripture says in Acts 2 4, they were all. Filled with the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. All of them. And here's that beginning of that blessedness mm -hmm. that's spoken of here. God dwelling with men. Mm -hmm. in, the, in, in the greater measure. In the greater measure that what He purposed. Mm -hmm. In a greater measure than even in the days of Jesus' flesh. This is a greater dwelling that God had determined to be. That He would dwell with men. And this is just the beginning. The giving of the Spirit is just the beginning of that blessedness that he mm -hmm. spoke about. Mm -hmm. See, the Apostle Peter declared this to be the truth of what was occurring there in Acts 2, 14 and 18. With this promise of blessedness made to all who would obtain the righteousness of God through faith. Uh -huh. Peter said, if you remember, unto them repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins. Amen. See, this, this had to occur yep, first. Right. Yep, mm -hmm. yep. Had to occur, but he doesn't stop there either. Because mm -hmm. now he's going to talk about the blessedness of the man whose iniquities are forgiven, Our, partake yeah. of this remission of sins, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and sins are covered, and ye shall receive the gift yeah. of the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what he's saying. Mm -hmm. Sins are put away, and now you're going to obtain this yeah. blessedness. Mm -hmm. right. The gift of the Holy Ghost. And he goes on to say this. For the promise is unto you, to these ones right here, mm -hmm. to all of them, mm -hmm. to all of them that he was addressing, and to your children, and to all that are far off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's us. Mm -hmm. Amen. Even as many 
as the Lord our God shall call. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. is this is his high calling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See to, 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 to receive this promised blessedness. Yeah. The imputation of righteousness. Good news. See, it's good news. Yeah. We're included yeah. in this. That's right. This isn't just a historical record. Mm -hmm. It has relevance to us even today. That's right. right. To all who are afar off. Mm -hmm. This is what the promise is for. Mm -hmm. And we know through the through the scriptures about the glorious ministries of the Holy Spirit, they're revealed. They're made known in the gospel. Mm -hmm. He's the one who teaches us and, and guides us and leads us, comforts us, counsels us. One of many things to do that he does. But Jesus spoke of one specific ministry of the Holy Ghost. And I'm going to leave you with this, with this final thought about this blessedness of the man. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Under whom God imputeth righteousness. Without mm -hmm. works whose iniquities are forgiven, mm -hmm. whose sins are covered. Mm -hmm. This is recorded for us in John the 16th chapter. We're starting in verse 13. Jesus announcing this about the Holy Spirit. Howbeit when He, the Spirit of truth, is come. Mm -hmm. This is going to happen, Jesus is saying. It's going to happen. I know that. The Father told me this is, this is uh -huh. going to happen. I'm going to, I'm going to do this. I'm going to send forth the Spirit. When He's come, mm -hmm. He's going to be effectual. He's an effective worker. Yeah. He'll guide you into all truth. Amen. For He shall not speak of Himself, mm -hmm. but whatsoever He shall hear, yeah. that shall he speak. Amen. What are those things that he heard? Hmm. See, he, in, in this manner of, 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 of even before the foundation of the world, the Father and the Son talking about this, this so great salvation and the mm -hmm. covenants and, the, and, the, and, and what would be required, the Holy Spirit was there. Yeah. yeah. He was, he was going to, those things that he heard, he says, he's going to speak them. Mm-hmm. He's going to show you things to come. Yeah. He's a, he, these things were all had been determined mm -hmm. even before the world was made. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And now the Spirit's going to tell you about those things. Yeah, okay. He's going he's to show them to you. Mm -hmm. He's going to show them to you. And in this, He's going to glorify me, Jesus said, for He shall receive of mine. So He's receiving these things of Jesus. In, in, this, in this salvation, everything's passing through Jesus. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's coming through Jesus. Yeah, See? The Spirit, the Spirit had to receive this of yeah. Jesus because... God had determined for him to be the exalted one. That's right. To be the, the only potent, the blessed one, the yeah. only potentate, the King of kings and right. Lord of lords. Yeah. God had determined that to be. Mm -hmm. All things were going to be passing through his mm -hmm. hands. Mm -hmm. And, 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 and the spirits uh, partaking of this, he's glorifying Jesus. He shall receive of mine, show it unto you. All things. How, how, much, about, how much is this? You know, encompassing all things. all things that the Father hath are mine, yeah, Jesus right. said. Yeah. All of them. Yeah. Therefore said I, he shall take of these of mine, uh -huh. show it unto you. Amen. See this? This matter of, mm -hmm. of, 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 of revelation. Mm -hmm. See, mm -hmm. of making these things known. This working of the Spirit in all of us. He's taking these things that he heard mm -hmm. about what God had purposed and desired and the manner by which he would do this. Yeah. Showing them. He's showing them to all of us. That's right. Mm -hmm. Now, one of those things that the Holy Spirit heard of <clears throat> pertained to God's eternal purpose, which He purposed in Christ Jesus our Lord. Mm -hmm. Again, these things were spoken before the foundations of the world that God desired to dwell with His people yeah. forever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There, there, there would be no more times of Ichabod mm -hmm. when the Spirit would depart. See, mm -hmm. He was talking about a time when He would dwell with them forever. Dealing in, dwelling with them in the fullness of of the blessedness of the man unto whom God would impute his righteousness without works. See, this, is, this is where this is ending up. Mm -hmm. It's ending up in the world to come and the ages to come, but it's being prepared now. We're being, we're being prepared for that now. Mm -hmm. now. This is what the Holy Spirit would show unto the people. To those who obtain the righteousness by faith, he's going to make an announcement yes. of, what, of, of God now. See, there's this fullness of him dwelling with his people. And he would do so through the apostles, mm -hmm. whom he himself was already dwelling in. Remember here that, that account of the Spirit? The Spirit was dwelt in them. They received the Spirit. And the apostles would continue to declare the glory and the greatness of God's eternal purpose being fulfilled in them that believe. Yes. In the, in the righteous. The apostle John <clears throat> recorded these words in Revelation 3.20. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. Mm -hmm. Jesus speaking here. If any man hear my voice. Uh, how, how does that open up? Are, are there any restrictions here? Jesus, are there any restrictions? Is it just for the Jew, the Gentile? 
Is it just for male or female or bond or free? If any man mm -hmm. hear my voice and open the door, mm -hmm. I will come into him mm -hmm. and I will sup with him and he with me. Yeah. Yeah. We are beginning to open this up now. The yeah. spirits and dwelling in the man or in the men, mm -hmm. in the believers. And now Jesus says, I'm going to come in. Yes, yeah, amen. 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 He's affirming that promise of God mm -hmm. to dwell with men. And, and, and Paul equates the obtaining this promise to salvation. Christ in you. Yeah, that's right. The hope of glory. See? Mm -hmm. The Spirit. And now there's Christ dwelling in you. Mm -hmm. How can this be? And yet this is what he's announcing. Mm -hmm. He's that's announcing right. this. Yeah. Amen. And there's still more. There's mm -hmm. still more to be mm -hmm. obtained. Mm -hmm. This blessedness. Yeah. Again, Jesus is the one who will make this known. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> John, the 14th chapter, verse 21. Jesus again speaking. He that hath my commandments and keepeth mm -hmm. them, he is that loveth me. Yeah. And he that loveth me yeah. shall be loved of my Father. Amen. Mm -hmm. Now, you know why you, we, we preach Christ and yeah. uh -huh. take hold of Christ? Yeah. You want know, to be loved by the Father? Well, you yeah. love Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Obey his commandments, keep them. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. I will love him and I'll manifest myself to him. Mm -hmm. It's a matter of opening these things up, revealing mm -hmm. those things which God had determined and purposed. Uh -huh. Now there was a question. Judas saith unto him, not Iscariot, Lord, how is it that thou wilt manifest thyself unto us and not unto the world? Mm -hmm. is, it, is it just for the apostles here? Is it? Jesus is going to tear that down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jesus yeah. answered and said unto him, If a man love me, yeah. he will keep my words, yeah. mm -hmm. and my Father will love him, yeah. and we will yeah. come unto him yeah. and make our abode in him. That's Amen. right. Amen. 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 Behold the blessedness of the man yes. to whom the Lord imputeth righteousness without yeah. works, Amen. Amen. whose iniquities are covered and his yeah. sins are forgiven. See, this here is, here is that full extent of God's purpose right. being revealed. About dwelling with men, he's indwelling them already. Yes, See, we, we're, we've partaken of this of this glorious working of God in Christ. Uh -huh. And as we as we do, we praise God for it. Yep. Amen. See? Amen. Am I am I part of this? Yeah. Listen to the words of Jesus. Mm -hmm. If any man love mm -hmm. me, he will keep my words. That's right. Mm -hmm. We can exhort one another in that. Keep yeah. his words. Uh -huh. Keep his words. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's there's blessedness attached to that. Yes, yeah. amen. The Father will love you. Yeah. Amen. And we will come in to him. Yeah. Make our abode with him. Yeah. That's that's exactly what J Jesus prayed for. You remember that on the last night? Mm -hmm. In John 17, Jesus' yeah. prayer recorded was for this very thing. Yeah, that's right. John chapter 17. Yeah. <laughs> In verse 20, this is what Jesus prayed. He says, I'm not, I'm not just praying for these that are with me here, mm -hmm. but for them also which shall believe on me through their word. Amen. Okay, so this is a continuing work. Mm -hmm. That they all may be one. Mm -hmm. As thou, Father, art in me, and I in thee, that they also may be one in us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there's a there's a there's a there's a, there's a in, being put into. That's what God did. He put us into Christ Jesus, in order that we would be in the Father as well. Mm -hmm. See, this is this working of God. But there's more. In verse 23, I in them, Jesus mm -hmm. said, oh, I in them, and thou in me, that they may be perfect in one, mm -hmm. and that the world may know that thou hast sent me, has loved me, and thou hast loved me. See, so there's there's this this this. Back and forth, if you will, the Father in you, mm -hmm. and, and, and you in the Father, the Jesus in you, you in, in Christ, the, the Spirit in you, and you in the Spirit. And this is an announcement. This is an announcement mm -hmm. of what God has accomplished. Mm -hmm. The Apostle Paul says it in this manner. <clears throat> this is in Romans 8, opening up this glorious truth. Three short verses, <clears throat> starting in verse 8. They that are in the flesh cannot please God. Mm -hmm. That's that is the, that's the bedrock truth. That's right. Yeah. You're in the flesh. You can't please God. It doesn't yeah. matter what works you do. That's right. What you do, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. You're in the flesh. You can't please God. Mm -hmm. But you're not in the flesh. Yeah. Good news. You're not in the flesh. But in the spirit. In the spirit. If so be that the spirit of God dwells in you. Yeah. A lot going on here. 
Now, if any man have not the Spirit of Christ, mm -hmm. he is none of his. None of and if Christ be in you, mm -hmm. the body is dead because of sin, but the Spirit is life mm -hmm. because of righteousness. Amen. Mm -hmm. A lot of God being involved here, isn't there? That's right. That's right. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit in you. But if the Spirit of Him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, mm. He that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. by His Spirit that dwelleth in you. Amen. Amen. This is, this is the blessedness of the man yes, to whom the Lord imputeth righteousness mm -hmm. without works. The ones whose Sins are covered and mm -hmm. iniquities are forgiven. This is the blessedness of the man. Mm -hmm. And it gives us reason mm -hmm. to thank God. Yeah. Amen. To praise Him and give Him glory. See, these things have been made known. Yeah. The Spirit has made known what Jesus has done. Yeah. He's made it known. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's also made it known of what He would accomplish before God mm -hmm. yeah. for us. That's right. And so we do... Thank Him and praise Him. Yes. And I exhort you to continue to marvel in mm. this truth. <laughs> yeah. Marvel in this truth. It's glorious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's hard. It's, sometimes it's hard to believe yeah. that the Father, the Son, and the Spirit can dwell in me. Mm -hmm. Yes, that, that's what the Scripture says, mm -hmm. because He imputed righteousness to you without your works. Mm -hmm. This is something God had determined. God did. To walk in this. You know, it's just not a matter to know about this. Walk in it. Mm -hmm. He imputed this to you. Yeah. It's made... It's made of, obtainable to men through the circumcision of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. you know, right. want, these are the things we want to remember. Mm -hmm. I have one, one verse from, <clears throat> to, to leave this with. Again, this is from Psalm. Brother, I think Brother Dan was talking about this already. Psalm 89. Mm -hmm. This is what he said in Psalm 89. <clears throat> verse 15. Blessed is the people that know the joyful sound. Mm -hmm. Blessed are they. Mm -hmm. They shall walk, O Lord, in the light of thy countenance. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In thy name shall they rejoice all that day. All the day, see? Yeah. Rejoicing that which God has accomplished in Christ. Mm -hmm. And in thy righteousness shall they be exalted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. see, we're going we're to be raised up to sit in heavenly places with Christ. Amen. Because of his righteousness. Mm -hmm. For thou art the glory of their strength. And in thy favor our 